Hello, welcome to Pretty Plump and Trying. My name is Amanda. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button below. If you're interested in beauty, plus size fashion, unboxings, and more. Today, I have for you a Marshalls and TJ Maxx haul. I found a couple things that I was quite excited about, so I figured I would share them so you guys have an idea as to what might be at your stores or at least coming to your stores. So, let's get started. The first thing I have is from La Action, and it is a dark circle concealer. I love that all of these come sealed, so that's always nice. You don't have to worry about somebody tampering with it. Here's what it actually looks like. Let's try it that way. There we go. Not a bad product. I literally just placed it right under my eyes along with my eyelids and set it so I could do my eyeshadow. And it was nice. I have sensitive skin and it didn't sting, didn't do anything. So quite excited and quite happy with that. The next thing I got is from Stila and it is a liquid eyeshadow in Grace. I know, ooh, there you go. I know for a while these were so popular and so hyped. So when I saw it, I figured I would give it a shot to see how it is. It was $6.99, and I actually have it written down right here as to the retail price. The retail price is $24, and it is a 4.5 star rating. So let's show you what it looks like. And I did use most of the products, so I will look to show you the look at the end of the video so you can see. the eyeshadow looks like that very pretty color and it's a color that you'll be able to use for a whole bunch of looks so i was excited if i'm gonna try one a color like this is really beneficial the next thing i got from stila is a liquid lipstick and it's actually what i'm wearing today it is in vino and let's show you what it actually looks like this is it in the packaging it is a quite dark color but I'm here for it. It's fall, so these colors are something I really enjoy. Let's do another swatch for you. And that's what that looks like. Dries down. It's very comfortable. It's not too dry, so I was quite happy with that. The next thing we have is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is a liquid glow highlighter. Here's what it actually looks like. This retails for $25 and it has a 4.5 star rating. It's a pretty glittery formula, but I did not mind it. I do have it on, but it's a bit hard to see. So let me do a swatch for you instead. And there you go. Not a bad formula, but like I said, you have to be willing to be comfortable with the glitter because it is, it's there. But it's still pretty and I'll still use it. The next thing I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills is a blush trio in Pool Party. This normally runs for $30 and I got it for $10. Let's show you the packaging real quick first. Very pretty packaging. And we'll show you the shades. That's what the shades look like. I do feel like it will work with quite a few different skin tones, which is nice. Let's show you. I know it does not swatch the best, but it is pretty on the face. I decided to go with a light hand, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it is on. So let's do some swatches for you. Like I said, it doesn't swatch the best, but the colors are pretty and they are buildable, so they're not bad. Don't mind the swatches but yeah not bad one is a shiny formula which is actually the middle one but it's not too shiny it's a little bit of sparkle and it's good <laughs> so i was happy with that now i believe that's everything i got from marshall's except ooh, one second i did get some wipes for your brushes because i normally try to clean my brushes at least once a week or once every two weeks but this might be a good transition kind of thing, so if I don't want to clean them yet, I'll do that. These are worth $3.99. They normally rail tail for $8. Sorry, I said that really weird. It happens. So that's what I got from Marshalls. Now, TJ Maxx did have a couple things I was quite excited about too, so let's start with those. The first TJ Maxx thing is from Milk, and it is a concealer. 
This ran for $7.99. Let's see how much it was actually. This concealer runs $28 and it had a four star rating. Sorry, I have them all written down here, so I will be referring to the notebook. The next thing I got from Milk is a travel size of their Kush Waterproof Mascara. Let's show you the packaging. Really nice, and I'll show you what the wand looks like. That's what the wand looks like. What I would normally do for a look like this is do like a burgundy mascara, but I wanted to try this one, and I wasn't mad about it wasn't great but the waterproof mascara i heard has a lower rating so the waterproof mascara has a 3.5 star but i heard the regular one has a higher one i might be interested in trying that one not gonna lie the next and final thing i got from milk cosmetics is a lip balm and it is their kush lip balm in nug Ooh, there we go show you the color it's a lip balm so i'm really not gonna swatch it but I can definitely show you what it looks like. And it smells like mint with a magnetic closure. So I was happy with that. And I might actually go back. They had one in bubblegum. So if I like the formula, that's definitely something I will be going back for. Another thing that I got was from L'Oreal. And it is their Paradise Enchanted Blush. It's in Just Curious. So let's see if I can actually open it. There's the shade. Pretty shade. Just make sure that my hands are clean. I'll swatch it for you. Let's put it over here along with the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. It's right there. Not bad. I thought it was actually supposed to smell like peaches, but it doesn't. So that's okay. It's one of those things where sometimes you're okay with smelling like makeup. But other times you're okay with them not being scented. So I'm okay with them not being scented. Another thing I got was from Makeup Revolution. And it is this palette. It wasn't here last time I went to TJ Maxx. So I was okay with getting it because I know this palette is, I think it's pretty old or older. If I could open it, that would be wonderful too. Oh, there it is. But it was such a fall palette and I was very much into that because I do think I can get a couple good looks out of it. Now, it does have a 3.5 star rating, so we'll see. But again, it's worth a shot, and it was only $5.99, so normally runs about $15. I was okay with it. The final thing I bought from TJ Maxx was from NARS, which I was super excited to see something like this. It is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in medium, slightly darker than I would normally go, but... I was just so excited to find a NARS product that it was worth a shot. And it's actually not too bad. I just have to mix it with a lighter concealer and I'm good to go. This normally runs $49 and I spent $14.99 on it. So that was definitely a, a good find. And I think that is everything. Yep, that's all. Let me actually show you real quick. I did use the Proofus in the Pudding Palette, so let me show you the look. And what I used. So here's the look. I'll go up a little bit closer so you guys can actually see it. It's definitely a fall look to say the least, but I was quite happy with how it came and they were super pigmented, so I was excited with using the formula. Now I'll show you. I did Man Pudding, which is the corner one right there. I did that all over the lid. I don't have my glasses, so we are going to see how this is going to work. I used Red Pudding, which is this top right corner shade, to deepen the crease. To warm up the corner of the eye, I did Warm Cocoa right there. And I did put Butterscotched right in the center, not center, right in the eye, this little part, along with using the Stila Formula, just so I could use the Stila formula as well as have a little extra pop in that eye corner I think <laughs> that's how you say it probably not but yeah so that was the look and that was the video thank you very much for watching if you are new like I said hit that subscribe button below I would love to have you and just a reminder you are amazing 
beautiful, dashing. Just, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I am awkward and this is all new to me. I'm just really appreciative to anyone that takes their time to watch a video. So thank you so much. And remember, if today is not a good day, that's okay. All we can do is try. Bye guys. See you next time.